Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as I play out live. Real quick, when I say live, what I mean is I am recording myself in real time, seeing the information, seeing the data for the very first time. So to honor your time, if you are looking for a video where the person's got hindsight in their favor and they're doing a trade recap or something like that, this won't be a video for you. But if you are open to the idea of an unscripted nitty gritty look into what it's like to be a day trader and how day trading can play out, then I'm confident you'll find value in this video. So I will pause the recording software for now and I'll be back at market open. Have an order at 11.20 here for puts. All right, got to change that down to 10.50 now. So let's see this thing come up a bit more. I will keep a close eye on it. Okay, I'm at 11.50 here in. and out for a quick $60, very good. We'll start the process over again at 1020 if this thing wants to come upwards, but nice quick $60 in a few seconds there, so I'll take it. Keep a close eye on it, but I will pause for now, so a nice little start to the morning. Okay, I have an order at 970 here. No, I don't, did I cancel that out? <laughs> I used to have an order at 970. We'll go to 920 at this point. That was funny. I must have, I must have canceled that out. I don't remember when I did that. I am now at 920 though. So close in at 920. Out for another quick $60. If you blinked, you missed it. We'll now go to 770. Actually, let's do this. Let's go 720. So if this thing wants to keep coming up, I will be ready for another scalp on it, but needs to come up because by the price coming up, that'll push these down since they are puts and I want to get filled at $7.20. I am doing options. For those of you that are wondering kind of what you're looking at, this is options trading. So I wanna see the price of SPY go up, which will push the puts down. And then after I get filled, I wanna see the price come down, which will put push the price of these back up. Sounds confusing, but I, I promise, I really promise it's not confusing. In fact, if you're interested, I do have a completely free uh, options class um, that'll give you the basics that'll explain what I just said in, in greater detail and it's completely free. So if you want that, just put that in the comment section and I'll, I'll send you a link to it because I don't know if I'll remember to put that in the comment section or not. Uh, but if you're interested in learning more, again, it's called the big basics of options. So if you're interested in the big basics of options and completely free, uh, let me know in the comment section and I'll, I'll send you a, a link to that class. All right, I'll go ahead and pause for now. Have an order at 8.20. Okay, that's what I wanted, did not get filled, so let's go down to 770 now instead. Actually, 750. So let's see if we can get the push up a bit more. Again, looking to play puts. All right, I will pause. Have an order at 1720. Okay, let's go down to 1550 now. Given the volatility seems to really be picking up here. So I'm at 1550. Seems far away, but this thing, all it needs is one quick push and these contracts can drop in a hurry. So I'm at 1550, I'll keep a close eye on it. Okay, I have an order at 1510 here. Let's see if this thing, come, thing can come down a bit more. All right, I'll go ahead and pause, keeping a close eye on it. Okay, I have an order at 14.10 here. The bid had dropped down to 
So it was actually quite close, but I don't think I had the video recording started because it happened so quick. All right, I'll pause. Okay, now we're getting some big movement down. So I'm gonna go to 1020 here, just play things extra conservative if we can get that move. So I needed to pick up a bit more craziness. I'm looking for 1020. I think 970, I'll bring over what I'm actually looking at. So trying to play that, the bounce off the purple line there. So I'm trying to time it up to what I think the option price will be if the price hits that level. So I will pause, but keep a very close eye on it. Okay, it's approaching. Yeah, I like 970, that should be ballpark a good entry. So it needs to come down a bit more. I'll pause. Okay, I have an order at 850. Nope, gotta cancel that out. Go to 750 now. It just hovered too too long right above my order. So still have no idea if I would have been filled there. I can try to mentally paper trade this. I'm not gonna say that I was in yet. Just because 850 shows up on the bid. All right, I would have been in now with 880 as an exit. So yes, I would have been okay. So in the paper trade should not have changed things, but that's hindsight for you. Okay, well, that happens sometimes. I will pause. Okay, I have an order at 970 in. Again, in at 970. and out for another $60. Took a little while longer than what I had anticipated. Let's go down to 750 now in case this craziness wants to continue. Again, I really like that entry point um, and the entry point, no granted, I should add context. If you've seen my other videos then you probably know what I'm getting at because usually I'm out within a few seconds and that one, I don't know, what did that last 10 seconds? Maybe it lasted 10 seconds. So I probably still seem crazy. Somebody like, what are you talking about, Clay? That trade lasted 10 seconds. You're saying it took a long time. My point here is that I thought I nailed that entry point to the point where it'd be one of these where as soon as I got in, it'd be out within a couple of seconds. So I was wrong there in the sense of absolutely nailing the entry point. Now it wasn't like a bad entry point. Clearly it was still a winning trade, but um, if I'm being honest about it, yeah, it was not as good of an entry point as what I thought. But if anything, I suppose, hopefully that's a little motivation. It's not like you have to get an exact, precise, perfect entry point in order for a trade plan to work or a trade strategy to work. Because you definitely do not. So actually seeing that now, I'm going to go ahead and just play things a little more conservative. So I, I understand 720 seems super far away, and it is. But again, after that experience, uh, I'll just err on the side of caution, be a little bit more high maintenance. And if I don't get filled, then, oh, well, I'm still green on the day. So, all right, I'm at 720. We'll see if the price can uh, get down there. Have an order at 1070. So this needs to come down a bit more. Ah, oh, that's what I wanted. All right, 1010 now. Let's look for 1010. Okay, let's actually go with 920 now. And yes, I'm being extra conservative because that last one ended up getting me in not trouble, but was not nearly as good of an entry point. So I'm just gonna err on the side of caution. 
but 920 I like a whole lot if it can come down there. So I will pause, but I'm gonna keep a close eye on it and I'm not gonna change from 920. Okay, I have an order at 1110, in at 1110, and out for another $60, very good. Now that one was much uh, more of what I expected, in and out very, very quickly. Uh, next one will be guessing down around $9.20, so let me get my order out there just in case it spikes. So I will go ahead and pause for now. All right, that is all I have for you. Gonna go ahead and call it good. Four trades, right? Yeah, four trades, $60 each for $240 on the day. So very pleased with that. All very anticlimactic. Well, that, that one was a little bit longer than I thought, like 10 seconds, but um, Overall, was happy with the entry points and uh, nothing too crazy um, today. So if you enjoy these live trade videos, do a couple things for me. Hit that like button, leave a comment down below. And also, uh, if you're not familiar with options, then again, leave a, just something in the comment section, guide please, something like that. And I'll send you uh, the, the video to that free little miniature class I've done to give you at least the basics of options, uh, if, if that can help you out. So again, leave that comment below because I'm totally gonna forget to put in the actual uh, description. But like I said, if you enjoy the live trade videos, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good one. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I want to invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you want to call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.